Hi guys. <laughs> I just cried for like an hour. James and I are going to New Zealand. We're supposed to leave like soon. It's just been a really stressful morning because our flights had gotten delayed so our whole trip got changed and we like have been trying to find a place to stay for the first night that we're there. But anyways, um, everything will be fine. I'm fine. I'm all packed. I'm ready to go. <sighs> I know that once I'm there, everything will be okay. Spend 24 hours with us traveling from San Diego to Auckland, New Zealand. So we had to drive from San Diego to LAX, which takes about three-ish hours. And then we stopped at a liquor store and got some shooters because quite frankly, I needed a drink. Um, we had these in the parking garage where we had to leave my car. And then we got a shuttle from the parking garage to the airport, had another shooter in the shuttle finally got to LAX and we had a lot of time to spare but we were pretty hungry so we were looking for somewhere to eat and we settled on Panda Express. Honestly, LAX does not have the best food choices, I will say. I got some chow mein, fried rice, and a spring roll and this was what my fortune cookie said which I felt was, was very fitting for the trip. I had a gin and tonic, um, I think James had a beer and then we made our way to our gate, finally got on our plane and we were with um, Fiji Airways and so we ended up having a layover in Fiji. The flight was like, I think 10 hours long or something to Fiji. Finally made to Fiji and had to stand in this super long line to go through security again. It took forever, I was getting bit by bugs, but whatever, we finally made it to the airport. Our plane was a little bit delayed, but ended up getting like an iced coffee. I'm not even kidding, it cost $18 for this iced coffee. <laughs> And then we finally got on our plane from Fiji to Auckland, which was about a three hour plane ride. I did these little eye face masks because we were gonna get to New Zealand in the morning and I wanted to be refreshed. Finally got to Auckland, I got a, myself a SIM card and we ended up changing the bathroom because it's summer here, so I wanted to wear something, you know, more warm. Got a shuttle from Auckland airport to the car rental place and finally got our car. We were so excited to finally be on the road, I felt so free. And then we got to James's friend's house because this is what we were, where we were staying for the first night. And we went to a liquor store down the street and got some more drinks. I got two pies because it has to be like the first thing that I do every time I go to New Zealand because they're so good. And then we had another drink um, at this bar and then we ended up going out to this really good pizza place. Um, it's kind of like this Italian place called Lillian. We had a bunch of pizza, had some espresso martinis because James and I were definitely starting to feel the jet lag at this point. And then we went back to his friend's house and went straight to bed. Uh. Hi. Hello. Morena. <laughs> We're in New Zealand. Um, did not film any of the flight stuff. It took us a long time to get here. We had a layover, but we're here now, and that's all that matters. We went out to dinner last night with um, some of James's friends. We're staying with one of his friends right now, and then we're gonna go see Flume tonight. I think right now James and I are gonna go get like lunch at some point, and actually, I'll show you guys. Last night we got pizza. We have some leftovers. We've got an espresso martini too. That the green one is the vegan one. It was super good. We were just really exhausted, so I just didn't even bother bringing out the camera. But yeah, I think we're gonna go for a little drive. We have all day in Auckland today, flume tonight in Auckland, and then tomorrow we'll head out to Mount Monganui, which is where James's family lives and where we'll be staying the rest of the time. So I'm so happy. It's summer here. It's warm, it's beautiful, the days are long, I'm thriving. And I think we're gonna go to the beach right now too. Do you want to go get a coffee when I get there? Yeah. We just went for a little swim at the beach. Kind of cloudy and the water wasn't that warm, but it still felt nice. Now we're just laying out. But I forgot my book. Mm -hmm. I was getting so into it on the plane. It's so good. <sighs> I feel refreshed. I'm getting attacked by sandflies though. <gasps> the sun is coming out. Hi, we are at our hostel slash hotel. We're in a private room in a hostel, so I don't really know. But I'm getting ready to go to the Flume concert. I just did my makeup and I'm like curling my bangs. This is the outfit. Um, this is our room. It's literally just the bed, James. <laughs> um, the little kitchen area. We have like a full on walk-in closet and then 
the bathroom and we are gonna go get dinner at this like vegan burger place with our friend who I've met before or James's friend I guess um, he used to live in San Diego and we haven't seen him since like pre-COVID so we're gonna meet up with him get some food and then probably come back here have a few more drinks and then go to the festival or the concert <laughs> We got a flat tire. <laughs> Hello. Huh? Hello. Hello. Me? Hello. Hi. Hi. We are finally in the mount after getting our tire flattened, having to go back to the mechanic shop to get it fixed, and then driving all the way here. We got here last night. What do we? We didn't even do anything last night. We just hung out with your family. And then this morning we just went on a long walk, and now we're gonna go to the beach finally, which I've been. So excited for it. Let's go before it rains. I know. Day four in New Zealand, I think. I woke up and I was so hungover, guys, because we went out the night before, but I had to wake up and immediately go for a two hour car ride to James's cousin's farm. And we had lunch with his family. I literally thought I was going to throw up at the family lunch, but I pulled it through, pulled it together. Um, visited the goat. There were lots of animals on the farm. Um, this little kitten, super cute. And then we came back to the mount and I had a falafel wrap and we ate that on the beach. And then we hung out with some of James's friends for a little bit. And then we got fish and chips for dinner and that was it. We are on a New Zealand road trip through the North Island. So we're gonna go stay with James's dad today. So we decided to make a road trip out of it and take a little scenic route. Um, we did the luging at Rotorua, which is like where you sit in these little like sled things and you go down a mountain really fast and it was really fun. Um, and now we're on our way to Taupo. There's like a big lake there. If any of you guys have followed me for a million years since back in the day when I went to New Zealand, I stayed in Taupo for like a week. So it's really interesting, like coming back to a lot of the same spots that I've been to before, but also seeing like new places. Um, and yeah, it was like, it's like raining on and off all day today, which is one of the reasons why we left because otherwise we would just be in Mount Manganui and wouldn't really be able to go to the beach. So we figured it may as well take advantage of the bad weather and go for a road trip. and I's like official last day in New Zealand um I feel like I've been so bad at vlogging I don't know what is wrong with me it's just like whenever we go on trips I'm always like oh my god I'm gonna do like an amazing vlog and then I'm just too busy like living life which I guess is a good thing but then I get really frustrated because I'm like I wish I would have vlogged more I don't know maybe one day you guys <laughs> anyways we have a pretty busy day ahead of us so I decided I'm gonna do like try my best to do a really good day vlog daily vlog and then tomorrow we have to go to the airport i'm so sad i don't want to leave it's also such a beautiful day today like the weather is literally perfect i feel like you genuinely cannot beat a perfect beach day in new zealand like it's just um also tbh i have not showered in like three days i have been swimming in the ocean multiple times so i feel like that kind of counts but I'm gonna need a shower today. My hair is like just, <laughs> but I truly am literally thriving right now because it's summertime and I don't know what I'm gonna do when I go back to San Diego. It's like a high of 58 degrees. I'm gonna cry. Anyways, I think we're gonna go climb up Mount Manganui, which is the mountain in Mount Manganui by the beach. 
it's beautiful, beautiful views, and we'll finally get some exercise in because James and I have been eating up a storm and obviously haven't been going to the gym, so it's fine. It's fun. It's been indulgent, but I feel like I just like am craving like moving my body because it's been so long. Oops. It's such a beautiful day. I'm wearing my favorite top, like workout top from Free Group Movement. I folded it up a little bit because I just already know I'm gonna get a tan. The New Zealand sun is like intense. Last time we went, went for a walk, I got really burnt. So I'm just like trying to get as much tan as I can. This little thrifted Nike skirt and then my new Nike shoes that I have, my little walking running shoes. Oh my god, I finally took a shower after like four days. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I feel great. Um, I just got dressed and we are going out to brunch with James's mom, his aunt, and his grandma. Um, just like down the street. Actually, it's really funny. James used to work there like when he was a teenager. Um, so that's kind of fun. Come full circle. And then I think we're gonna have a beach day after that. But I'm pretty hungry. I've like barely eaten anything today and I'm very excited. Brunch is like my favorite meal to go eat out at. I don't know what it is, but it's just like, it's the vibe, you know? The last day in New Zealand or Aotearoa. So we woke up and we walked up the mount in Mount Maunganui with James and his mom. And then the views are always just amazing. Like I can't get over it. And then we went out to brunch with his family and I got this iced coffee, and then I also got this like chili egg scramble. The food was super good. It was actually at this cafe that James used to work at when he was like a teenager. Um, and then we basically just had a beach day, which was so nice. And then we walked to Sea People, which is this vegan ice cream place in the Mount. And I got pecan caramel and apricot crumble, and it was so good. Honestly, you'd never know it was vegan. And then James and I went to this other restaurant and we got some dinner and drinks and then we went home.